Hi, we're Chris, Mal, Caroline, Jasmine, and we're, we're Family, Family Detour. Detour. We left our home in Maryland to go on a North American epic adventure to see our beautiful parks, meet fascinating people, and explore interesting places. Thanks for coming along. We just had dinner and we're taking our evening stroll. We're going to try to go to the beach. Oh yeah, we baked some cookies today. They're delicious, right? Who had the most cookies? <laughs> what? No, you had. You guys had it from the other bowl. We're at Cape Lookout State Park. So the good thing about RV lifestyle is that <clears throat> sometimes you pull up to your next campsite for the night and this is your backyard. And sometimes it's not Walmart, but uh, you know, it's just uh, a trade-off and I think something like this is really nice, huh? You know, we've been enjoying the Oregon coast in the last week or so and we're going to be hitting it all the way down to California. This being late in the camping season in Oregon, the campground was sparse with only a few folks around and we had the beach all to ourselves. We walked up and down the beach and watched the sun peak for a bit before it finally set for the day. Then we strolled back to our campsite for the night. So we got the sun to peak out just a little bit as it goes down. It's gorgeous. Overnight, the weather turned for the worse, with heavy rain and high wind advisory in the forecast for the next couple of days. We've been so lucky to have great weather in the recent days. Time to hunker down. couple of days the weather has uh, really turned on us it's it's windy today extremely windy uh, with high surf and it's gonna be raining in the next couple of several days um, so it's gonna be just chillax so as you can see it's high surf right now we're getting about 40 50 mile an hour wind gust uh, with high surf advisory uh, check out those waves wouldn't want to be in that water. Good morning. So we're still on the coast of Oregon and we stayed at this wayside um, last night. Uh, it was nice and quiet. It was also really nice and dark, but luckily it was uh, full moon or the moon was really bright last night. So we had a lot of natural light. So that's where we stayed last night. This was our view with right now, the sun's peeking out. Luckily, it's been uh, raining a lot. You see there, there's still a lot of uh, rain clouds. We didn't really have a lot planned for the day. It was homeschool and work as we waited for better weather. Caroline's working on her report for the week. 
So she wrote up her report, hand wrote it, edited it, and now edited, edited, edited it. it, and now she's typing it on the computer as her final draft. Caroline, what's your report on? Mount St. Helens. What about it? The history and the explosion about Mount St. Helens. Jasmine, what is your report on this week? Sand dollars. Sand dollars. Pretty cool. What about them? Um, the life cycle. The life cycle of the sand dollar. Until they get eaten by the seagulls. And die. And what? And die. And die, right. Did you find any sand dollars in the, uh, on the beach? Yeah. Yeah. We drove down a bit further south, stopping for some coffee, then found another wayside. Like I said, we didn't really have a lot of plans today. Oh, look at the waves here. Mommy made some chili again. We're topping it off with some Tillamook cheese. It's gonna work. Oh, that looks good. Where are the chips? No, Peter. No, that's not gonna work. And this is our view. So we're having some chili that mommy cooked. It's good on a rainy day. We're putting some Tillamacobi Jack cheese on it, and some sour cream, and some cornbread. Perfection. Delicious. <laughs> Even on a cold, wet, and windy day such as today, it's still hard not to appreciate the beauty of the Oregon coast, especially when you have views like this. We watched one big wave after another crash on the rocky coastline. It's quite mesmerizing watching these waves on the cove. We ended up spending a night here. The wind howled all night as it rocked the RV back and forth. The next day was much of the same, cold, wet, and windy. our view last night, listening to these waves crash these rocks all night. It's nice waking up to this. We stayed a bit longer to enjoy these spectacular views before we moved on to our next destination. Sun actually came out today. We're out here just south of Newport at a state campground and uh, we haven't seen the sun in a while so it's actually nice to feel the sun on your skin. So we're at South Beach State Park uh, just south of Newport. So there are a lot of Travados, uh, the Winnebago Trava Travado out here on the campground. Uh, there must be a meetup. So if I flip here on this side, you see a bunch. But this this actually area is all lined up with some travados. So it finally stopped raining. Knock on wood, at least for a few minutes or an hour or so. So we're checking out Newport here in uh, the Oregon coast as we head south. 
So this is Newport. That looks pretty good. Put your arm out like this. <laughs> Who's Jim. Freddy Jim? Freddy Jim is that goldfish here. Newport is 91 miles south of Portland. It has many great attractions that you might not want to miss. The historic Bayfront is uniquely interesting with a mix of tourist attractions and working waterfront. The Yakina Head Outstanding Natural Area is on the top 10 list of places not to miss. The Oregon Coast Aquarium is also a fantastic facility to visit. As you can see, we started our visit by strolling on the boardwalk at the historic waterfront with its lovely scenery. Here you can watch the bustling activity of fishermen, sea lions, and coastal birds. The minute we stepped out of our RV, we heard the sea lions from afar, so we can't wait to see them up close. What you see here is a sea lion viewing platform. The platform and newly constructed pilings and docks are owned by the nonprofit Newport Sea Lion Docks Foundation. These wooden docks have provided a haul out for sea lions for over 18 years. They provide a unique opportunity for the public to observe these amusing and interesting animals close up. For many, this is the quintessential Newport experience. If you know much about Newport, it's that they take Dungeness crab very seriously here. In fact, the phrase the Dungeness capital of the world became a registered trademark of the city in 2007. Visitors and locals can catch crabs directly from the docks of the Yakina Bay or by boat. seeing the Moe's restaurants uh, since, I don't, know, I don't know, since we hit the coast, Oregon coast, so we were finally getting to try it out here in Newport, Oregon. So oh, is it? Alright, so this is the home of the original Moe's, so we got the clam chowder, red bowl, right there, and then some fried deliciousness right here, so cod, the, uh, uh, strips and calamari. Anyway, we're going to dig in. Moe's is part of the fabric of the Newport community and an amazing family-owned business success story. After Moe's, we stopped one more time to see the sea lions. <laughs> Just wrapping up our uh, our trip here or a visit in Newport, Oregon. 
uh, the rain just held out. Luckily, uh, it rained a couple times, but we were we just rushed indoors. Now we are gonna go to our next boondocking spot. Last night we stayed at a state park, at a campground, and tonight we're gonna be at a boondocking spot. So Newport is really nice. There are a lot of great shops, a lot of mom and pop shops, very unique uh, products and gifts here. Uh, a lot of good seafood restaurants. We went to Moe's for lunch. Um, and then also they have the sea lions out now. A lot of people crabbing for, or fishing or trying to catch crabs, crabbing uh, by the docks. Perhaps Newport's most iconic landmark is the gorgeous Yakina Bay Bridge. More than just a way to cross the bay, the bridge is an ambassador for the city and a magnificent piece of Art Deco architecture. On the other side of the bridge is the Yakina Bay State Recreation Area, where they have a gorgeous viewpoint, the Yakina Bay Lighthouse, and a beach. We enjoyed some time here before we moved on to our boondocking spot for the night. We're at the Yakina Beach. Uh, just outside Newport, uh, so it goes pretty long, has some nice scenery over there, and then you have the lighthouse right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see, there's a, actually a working lighthouse right here. There it, there it is. And then if we turn around this way, it just keeps going on. Even with all the crazy weather we've had the past couple of days, we found a way to still enjoy life on the road. The Newport area of the Oregon coast is not to be missed with its amazing coastline, excellent seafood, amazing sights to visit, and of course, let's not forget those rambunctious sea lions. 